Good morning, I hope you're having an excellent day. Today we are going to talk about some of the most common retirement investment mistakes. So I'm just going to cue this slideshow. Okay, so the most common mistake is failing to contribute the maximum uh, to your 401k or your employer sponsored plan. This is a great thing to take advantage of, especially if you're getting a match that's free money, you know, so definitely want to do that. And if you're not taking advantage of that, that's 100% return that you're not achieving. Um, the earlier you start, the more time the money has to compound. And if you've seen any of the calculations, it makes a dramatic increase. So if you start earlier, you'll have far more uh, later on, even if you're only putting a small amount in at the, at the early ages. Um, number two, failing to develop a plan. It's very helpful to have a plan so you know exactly how much you need to save uh, to achieve the sort of lifestyle you're looking for. Um, and if you start early on with a plan, you can always change it as your life changes and things happen or your goals change. Uh, but it'll give you a rough idea of how many years you need to wait until you retire. Um, and this, this is also crucial because this will enable us to develop an asset allocation strategy that makes sense um, and is the right amount of risk for reaching your goals. This is all too common and uh, we're all guilty of it from time to time, but you really want to maintain a long-term outlook. You don't want to fall into the trap of, oh, I need to get into a certain investment right now for a short-term gain. Um, that's That burns you more than it, than it does. And I've seen it so many times. You know, the clients that I've had with the best performance are typically the ones that don't mess with it too much. They have a very long-term mindset. Um, and chasing the hot thing, is it rarely works out. In the short term, the stock market fluctuates a lot, and there's a very good chance of price volatility. So selling your holdings every time the market drops is a sure way to incur losses, and it'll, it'll hurt your long-term goals. Putting all your eggs in one basket. So some investors will make the mistake of not diversifying enough and just investing in one fund or one type of asset. Um, this is risky because if the market swings around um, and you're all in one sector, you're gonna get hit much worse. Um, it's better to diversify over a mix of assets, so you know if one thing does poorly, hopefully something else can pick up the slack, and this should smooth out returns over time. If you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks.